Rebecca here from Inside the Square with another CSS tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to adjust the image opacity using CSS. We're going to apply this code site-wide, so I'm going to navigate to the custom CSS section of my website. I'm going to select design on the main menu and then scroll down to custom CSS. Now this code is beneath the video, but I'm going to do a quick code breakdown for you. We'll see here that those main images I had on my demo website here are now slightly more opaque than they were before. That's because I told the browser, when you see an image block, apply a filter. That filter is an opacity filter at 80%. So you can change this 80 around to something uh, a little more light, like 10%, or all the way up to uh, maybe just 50 halfway through there. So it definitely lightens up the image and whatever's behind it is the color that will show through. Now the background of this site is set to a white so it lightens the image for me. Now let's say you like that but on a hover you want to show the image in full color. You can actually add the second code beneath this video which says image block on a hover don't put a filter there at all. So now when I scroll over this image with my cursor you'll see it goes back to the full color that it was before. That's how we add that effect there. Now, if you want to reverse it, super simple, just copy that, or sorry, cut <laughs> the H-O-V-E-R out of that second line of code and apply it to the first. And now when my cursor hovers over the image, it's going to apply that 50% opacity filter. When you're all done with the codes there, just make sure you select save and you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching and have fun with your Squarespace website. If you liked this tutorial, be sure to subscribe so you can see a new one every week. And when you're ready for more CSS tips and snippets, check out my CSS Cheat Sheet. Available now at InsideTheSquare.co slash CSS.